position is by the back four and not wanting to give the ball away, just waiting for an opportunity. Todd now sees one and charges forward, which is good play. A typical buccaneering run from Todd Kane. And the first save of the night by Wooten. That's a good shot, isn't he? Just looks slightly off balance and almost running out of steam when he took his shot on. Good distance out. I guess that was just drifting wide, but the goalkeeper had to make sure. One goal for the youth team this season, Todd Kane. Two for the reserves. Swift. Fancier's chances. Oh, that's a brilliant save from Wooten. He's got hold of this really, really well, hasn't he? It's a decent strike. It's bang on target. I'm sure there was a slight deflection, but just striding forward, gets to the edge of the penalty. A little step over, finds himself a bit of space. Probably a bit too close to the goalkeeper, but good strike nonetheless. Scored here and against Doncaster in round three. One of his four goals so far this season. Very nearly number five. First corner goes Chelsea's way. Well, there's another strike and another good save from Wooten. This time it's, it's Pearson. This is good for him. You know, we said, said earlier on about the header down, but it's bang on target. Getting to ask questions, Chelsea. It's a good play. There's Manovic. A feign. There's Manovic. A feign again. Really good spell this for the Blues. Swift. May fancy another go here. But allowed to run a long way. Brilliantly done. Fantastic goal for Chelsea. Well, it's been coming. Lewis Baker is the man who prods it home. Oh, what a good run this is by John Swift. Doesn't he do well? He's had a little drive at goal a few moments ago. This time he just keeps going, keeps his head, keeps calm, keeps cool, and again a lovely little step over just to create that extra bit of space, gets to the byline, just helps the ball back into the box. He's not picking out Lewis Baker. He's just putting it into a decent area. Well, there's Baker with a perfect touch. You've got to get as close to the marker as you possibly can and just so he doesn't get a free one. Oh, Fanimo takes it. Oh, right into the mix. Ping pong around the six-yard area. And it's another corner. Pot's so close. Well, they should have scored, shouldn't they? I mean, it's a not particularly good delivery into the box. It should have been dealt with at the near post. It's not. We were very, very lucky that West Ham didn't put boys saying it in front of us. That, you know, they know what they should be doing, and they're going to try and do that. Good play. Aki. Oh, nicely taken. This side is Baker. Well, the ball comes off the woodwork, left by... I think we're seeing it, we're seeing the pictures here, and the boys looking uh, quite tidy. Here's Todd Kane. Oh, not a bad ball in, good save, Farouz! Brilliant block. I'm not too sure there wasn't a handball in there, but it is a decent block, isn't it? But should have been the second goal, Gary. Great ball in by Todd Kane. Again, dreadful defending by West Ham. The marking was really poor. Farouz once more. What a lovely turn. Uh, maybe a little deflection on the strike. Well, he's hit the target. He's on the half turn. Well, the ball just about reaches Aki. Down by Piazzol, but straight to Taylor Miles. Shooting chance, and the first save by Jamal Blackman. He really came for us trying to keep working hard. Forward by Aki. Nicely taken as Manovic. Swift. DT. Now Piazzon. Uh, a I think he got in two minds here, didn't he? I think, I think he was trying to actually curl it. His second corner of the match to be taken by Lucas Piazzon. He's got another chance here. And then drilled goalwards. It's a poor ball in in the end, isn't it? Corner wasn't the best as well. 
better side by quite a bit. So they shouldn't lose too much confidence. Zmanovic. Baker. Swift. Good response by Chelsea. Oh, and DT. Brilliantly done. Going for goal. Tipped away by Wooshin. It's a great drive, isn't it? I mean, super skills. Little nutmegs on the far side there and gets on the end of the ball. But better op option, possibly square. It goes for goal, and DT. It's a terrific drive. Swift. Just over a minute to go, plus a minute of stoppage time. Swift eventually dispossessed. Aki. Baker. Piazon lining one up. Again, West Ham not really closing down, are they? They're allowing. See if he was okay. Swift. Saremba leaves it for Todd Kane. Really nicely worked. And Piazon. And smashed goalwards by a fane. Somehow it didn't go in. That's not away. Kane drills it. It's great, but isn't it? Super play by Chelsea. To Chambers. Target. Swift. Looking for Farouz. That's where he can use his pace. He's in Farouz. 2 1 Chelsea. And he deserves those celebrations because that's where he can be so useful. And the finish was superb. Absolutely brilliant. Again, great pass, wasn't it? But it was Farouz's pace that made the most of the pass. Super running off the ball. Here we see the pass by John Swift. We haven't seen a great deal of him as an advanced player, but look at the pace. Steaming through and such a tidy finish. This is what he's all about. Didn't have a lot of opportunities in the first half. The only one he's really had in the second, and he's put it away with a plump. Super finish. His seventh youth team goal of the season. His first in this. Chambers. I think, as you say, Gary, you know, at this stage of the game, 14 minutes to go, the nerves will set in. Vos. Gets it back from Lee. Turgit! It's the equaliser! Once again, West Ham have come from behind. And it's Blair Turgit with his eighth of the season. 2 2. I have to say it's a good finish, isn't it? We have to give West Ham some credit here for a good goal. Well worked. But we're stretched. There's huge gaps. Chiloba gets pulled slightly out of position. Hanaki doesn't get the challenge and it runs free. And Turgut then. Finishes very, very well. It's a good, tidy finish. Jamal Blackman can do nothing about it. Disappointed. Headed by Potts. Close. The hunting of packs now, West Ham. Lee! Oh! What a good effort that was from their top scorer. They've got that little bit of belief, haven't they? That more confidence and, like I say, Gary hunting impact, but... Here's Todd Kane, head down. Running at Vose, who's pinched it off him. Now, Powell. That's a poor shot in the end, but we just left it so easy. Todd's run further forward. Doesn't get uh, in a vault, tries to win a free kick and doesn't get right. Yeah, that's run past the fullback, Jake Young. Swift. Oh, he's got good feet, hasn't he, John Swift? Does, does well to stay on his feet and get beyond the last midfield player. But Ruse will chase this down, hooked away by Chambers. DT. And Swift just beat, beat into the ball. Promising run this. Near side is Lee. Oh, that's a fantastic winner for West Ham. Their top scorer finds the corner. And it's a devastating blow for Chelsea in stoppage time. 
Well, you've got to give him, again, give him some credit. It's a great finish into the bottom corner. No chance for Jamal Blackman. And in desperation, Chelsea trying to get back into position. We don't get close enough. And he just tucks it away into the bottom corner. Maybe a little bit of tiredness has crept into the Chelsea back line. What a disappointing blow that is. His 15th goal of the season. And his fourth in this competition. Jamal Blackman beaten for a third time here. It's incredible, isn't it? After a game that we dominated, played, played a much better in the opposition. And they've managed to work out a third goal. Maybe a chance for us here, though. It's for Ruse. Oh, off the inside of the post and in. Well, that's incredible. Nathaniel Chaloba, the captain. Strike straight back for Chelsea. 3 3. Absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? What a topsy turvy game this has proved to be. I mean, the boys have worked really hard here. Lots of bodies got forward. Farouz with a ferocious shot comes back off the post. It could have gone anywhere. And there's Chiloba of all sorts. Chiloba, what's he doing there? Gets forward and tucks the ball away into the back of an open net. Nothing that West Ham can do. Oh, looks like extra time now, Gary. Well, that's what's what Potts thinks of it. Hammering the ground with frustration. But how often has Chaloba popped up in that type of position to score a vital goal? Absolutely brilliant. Leaves your breath.